Right, right there. Why are you like that? Because I was literally, I was literally in the middle of something. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. Today's story comes from the YouTube channel Blasian. Mad props for submitting this video and having the guts to allow me to publish it. You'll understand in a minute. Blasian lives in Florida with his roommate, and living with a friend makes private time something to be cherished and used appropriately. No distractions, no intrusions, just you and yourself. All alone, doing all alone types of things. Blasian sat down for a relaxing evening, turned on his favorite videos and got to work. But his roommate's girlfriend and several members of the Manatee County Sheriff's Office had other plans. Office. Sheriff's Office. Okay, well, I need to see your hand. Yeah. Okay, Put come on. Close the door. Ooh. Sorry. What's your name? My name is... Okay, where's... He's not here at the moment. He grabbed the left chair. Okay, why are you like that? Because I was literally... I was literally in the middle of something. Like what? You can put your hands down. What's going on? I was masturbating. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, we're here because Silva is supposedly in the house. No, he's not. He drives a Mustang. He is my roommate, but he told me when I first drive. And do you know where he's at? Uh, not at the moment. I just talked to him on my phone. On the screen. Adam's roommate was going through a breakup, and to distance himself from the quote, crazy ex-girlfriend, he blocked her from incoming calls and texts. Unable to contact him, she took it upon herself to call 911 and reported to emergency dispatch that her now ex-boyfriend intended to do something drastic. Before the deputies arrived, Blasian's roommate had gone out for a drive, never indicating that he was in danger. After the video ends, the officers pressured to enter the house. Blasian stood his ground and denied them entry despite the evidence and testimony that the roommate wasn't home. Over the radio, dispatch notified the deputies that their target had been found in good health at the local river walk. The officers still continued to press for entry, but they were denied and eventually left. It's a good thing that Moxie was a good girl and went to her cage, because cops are like a box of chocolates. They'll kill your dog. Charges were never brought against the caller. Welfare checks are dangerous. They can be abused comparably to swatting your favorite YouTuber. Not only are they a great way for police to circumvent the Fourth Amendment, when performed incorrectly, welfare checks may become an overly defensive practice that damages therapeutic relationships, violates patients' rights, and consumes important and limited community resources. Thanks again to Blasian for the submission. If you head over there, let him know that I sent you, and thank you for watching. If you have an interaction you'd like me to review, email it, submit it on my website, or through Facebook Messenger. All links are down below. Office. Sheriff's office. I got it. Wait, 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 right, right there. there. Right, right there. Okay, well, I need to see your hand. Yeah. Okay, come on. Close the door. Ooh. Sorry. What's your name? My name's... Okay, where's Silva? He's not here at the moment. He drives a bus chair. Okay, why are you like that? Because I was literally... I was literally in the middle of something. Like what? You can put your hands down. What's going on? I was masturbating. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, we're here because Silva is supposedly in the house. No, he's not. He drives a Mustang. He is my roommate, but he told me when I first drive. And do you know where he's at? Uh, not at the moment. I just talked to him on my phone. On the screen. That concludes our video for today. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. If you're old here, like, share, comment down below what you think of this interaction and consider a channel membership or merch to further support the channel.
If you have an incident you'd like us to review, link it down below or contact us through the social media platforms linked in the description.